this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If you return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen, and I'm here to take you on another TV stroll. This is TV stroll number three, if you've been keeping count. We're working our way through my collections and doing a pretty good pace. Shoot, we might even wrap up the uh, Criterion stroll fairly quickly. But let's get started into that. We got a lot to cover. And uh, I'm going to start us off with, well, some Batman-y type goodness with Birds of Prey. Now this one here, as you can see, you got Oracle, you got Batwoman, and you've got, uh, I believe, Huntress in this. This is prior to Arrowverse. But, you know, they had been trying to do some of this stuff earlier on. Uh -huh. oh, there you go. <laughs> some cool discard there. So this is a series... That's a pretty much a girl power type series. You've got your two heroes, and then you've got your character Oracle that sits in the background, who's also a hero. And they tend, well, they fight crime in Gotham. It's not quite what you would expect from the comics, but it's still a fun show. You just kind of have to put what you know about the series to the side and just enjoy it. If you like a, a good girl power type series that's actually fun and comic booky, and you enjoyed stuff like the Arrowverse, you'd probably like this. It has a lot of cool twists, including a twist on Harley Quinn, which is interesting. So this has, um, let's see here, so it has the entire series on it. It didn't run for very long. Plus, it has the entire run of Gotham Girls, which is a 30-episode uh, mini-animated series that was web-based, and has the bonus pilot episode. Now, how many episodes were on this? I am not sure. It was not a ton of episodes. They're hour-long, I believe. 13. There were 13 episodes. So, Birds of Prey. Next up, one of my favorites... Actually, probably one of my one of the favorites as far as British TV is going, and that is Black Adder. This is the remembered, or actually remastered, the ultimate edition. I've had this in the singles for a while, and I remember in high school in history class, if we were doing good and we were running ahead of schedule. He would show us an episode or two of Black Adder, which was really cool. I mean, this set is pretty awesome. This is like, I think, the third set I've had with it. And it has all of the stuff. It has the original Black Adder. Uh, you know, it has the uh, second series, the third series, the fourth series, and all the specials. So... What is Black Adder? Well, many of you are familiar with Rowan Atkins for uh, his role as 
fact, Ron Atkinson as his role as Mr. Bean, much like you're familiar with Hugh Laurie as his role, well, as the Doctor himself, House. And the, this role, these roles are nothing like uh, those roles. <laughs> Whereas uh, Atkinson plays Blackadder, which is this conniving little asshole who wants to gain power for himself. And usually ends each series, because in England the seasons are called series, with his character dying. And you get to see a new Blackadder in each historical period. So, for instance, the original Blackadder was done during medieval times. Uh, Blackadder 2 was done during like a... Uh, it was not Queen Elizabeth, it was uh, King, King George's time. It was during a... Uh, was during that time in between, whereas Blackadder the Third was Queen Elizabeth's time, and Blackadder Goes Forth was World War One. And it seems like, uh, and of course he has his Hugh Laurie tends to play these noblemen, these fops that are kind of just like idiots as they go, but also our uh, Stephen Fry he plays Baldrick, who is Blackadder's ever accompanying assistant. And he's just this bungler who, as Black Adder seems to become more and more competent as the series goes on, Baldrick seems to get dumber and dumber as the series goes on. Where by the time you get to Black Adder Goes Forth, Black Adder is actually quite intelligent and quite competent, and Baldrick is a total bumbling buffoon. <laughs> Whereas he almost had full, com he almost had competence going in the original series, but that's not all. This also includes commentaries with uh, Rowan Atkinson, John Lloyd, Stephen Fry, uh, Ben Elton, Richard Curtis, Tony Robinson, and Tim McHenry. This has a special. Uh, Blackadder Rides Again, which is a fun one. Uh, they have a documentary to mark 20th anniversary. Shot on location in Northumberland. Uh, and exclusive extended interview with Hugh Loring, Ro Rowan Atkinson, Richard Curtis, Ben Elton, Tony Robinson, and Stephen Fry. Costumes Revisited by Miranda Richardson, Patsy Byron, Tony Robinson, and Tim McKinney. Also, you get to have some other specials, such as Blackadder's Christmas Carol, which is a staple during the holidays for me, Blackadder the Cavalier Years, and Blackadder Back and Forth. And of course, you have a Blackadder Video Diary. This is a very fun set, has a lot of fun special features, and I really do love this series. But that's not all. We have another British series, which is heavily out of print, and that is Black Books, the complete series. This is hard to find, unfortunately. It should not be hard to find. By the way, Black Adder does not have a ton of episodes per, I think it's like four, five or six per series, so it's a pretty quick watch. So Black Books has three series. We've got series one, which is there. Series two. Not exactly like pristine artwork on the thing, but and series three. So, series three has six episodes. Series two has, let's see here, six episodes. And series one has, I want to say, probably six episodes. <laughs> 142 minutes, regardless. So, this is a story about a guy who owns a bookstore. 
and those around him. The guy who owns a bookstore hates people, and it shows. He owns a bookstore because he knows nobody wants to buy books. So, he hopes that people will leave him alone. <laughs> but people just won't. And thus, it comes to our story. Special features include outtakes, cast commentaries, photo galleries, and trailers. Also, a thing called Black Dolls and some deleted scenes. So it's going to be some so some fun stuff here if you want it. You gotta have to find it, but if you want a gem and you can't find it anywhere else, it's been off and on for streaming. I've seen it occasionally, but it goes off of streaming almost as often as it's on. This is one that sadly may disappear and get forgotten in the ways of time because if you gotta rely on physical media, you might as well say that it doesn't exist. So. Very sad. Alright, so this next one I have the two seasons of. And I'm going to turn my phone messenger down because obviously it is running. There we go. There it is. Now I ain't disturbing this. So the first one is Blue Planet. Sea of Seas of Life. Pretty awesome there. It's a Blu-ray, but this is Blu-ray quality stuff. It really is amazing to look at. When I had my DVD player, this was one of the early ones. Because these BBC documentaries are there. I seem to be going on a BBC kick. This is my third BBC entry in a row. <laughs> So this one actually is by the people who did Planet Earth, which is one of the most amazing doc wildlife documentaries ever created. Uh, but this has a number of episodes on it with special features with five bonus programs, Amazon Abyss, Dive to Shark Volcano, Between the Tides, Antarctica, Deep Trouble, Interviews with producer Alistair Frothgill, Cameron Doug Allen, and researcher Penny Allen. 80 minutes of behind the scenes footage. So this is a pretty awesome series and it divides episodes into different biomes and such. It is really good. The only thing that might be a turnoff to some people when it comes to these is the same with most of these is that there is a very environmentalist bent on it. So you know you need to be, be prepared. It gets a little bit of preachy. To me, I understand it. It adds some power to it, but to many, mm, it may not. <laughs> so this next one's in 4K, which is Planet Earth 2, and there's a reason for that. To me, this does not need to be 4K. It was shot in HD, so that's about as good as it needs to get. This, however, was shot in 4K, and you can tell. This one continues where the other left off. And the colors, oh my god, the colors are vibrant. Like nobody's business. This is a seven episode, wait. One of the things I don't like is that they stack them. Yeah, seven episode series. Here's the bonus disc. I hate when they do that, but the good thing about Blu-rays and, and these Ultra HD ones is that they are much, much heavy duty or heavy duty. <laughs> They're much better than DVD when it comes to being able to take a beating. So they can be stacked like this and do okay usually. But this is an amazing series. Again, if you love nature documentaries, this is a must. You have a 4K TV and player. This is a good test to that. It will show off all the spectacular colors and range of your 4K player. So, we add a bonus feature into the blue. See the stories behind the blue planet, behind Blue Planet 2's most memorable moments in this 54 minute feature. So, not as many features as the original, but still, what do you need? This is awesome right there. 
All right, so we're going to move beyond the BBC, and we're going to talk about a internet one that I got from Cinemassacre called Board James. Many of you are familiar with James Rolfe, uh, the angry video game nerd. But he also did a series dedicated to board games where he played a very different character, Board James. And he, with his friends, which some of them I can't say because of their expletives, they go through this 27 episode adventure together through various, and each one covering a different board game. Nine commentary tracks, 1.5 hours of bonus features, and another 1.5 hours of outtakes. The most memorable ones for me are Fireball Island, mainly because it's just it's the game. Uh, and the Mr. Bucket episode. <laughs> if you These are all online, so if you don't feel like getting on Blu-ray, I just like having a physical copy, and it is cool. It gets really dark as you go on, but the Mr. Bucket episode, if you want to watch any of them, watch that one. <laughs> it's probably some of the best stuff. I like it better than Angry Video Game Nerd. Wish they still did those. So this next series is again not BBC. Matter of fact, Cartoon Network, which is the Boondocks first season. So this this series is a series about these about this family essentially living today. A lot of strange things happen. This is fairly racially charged and that's part of what makes it well, entertaining. It looks at itself and it's able to move forward quite well. The style is amazing. The animation is beautiful. The writing is on point. Like stylings of Sam Jackson as one of the uh, major players in this. There are 15 episodes in season one. So let's take a look at what the um, special features are in this. These days I'm going to get the them all in the compiled set. I would love it for it just to come out on a full Blu-ray. I know they're coming out with another season in the near future. But you got the audio commentaries, um, behind the scenes featurettes, deleted scenes, animatics, unaired Adult Swim TV promos, and printable storyboards. Who prints these out? Do you print out these printable storyboards? I mean, really? Let me know if you do in the comments. I would like to I'd like to see that. <laughs> so, of course, we continue with season two. Right here. In fact, he's fighting Ruckus. <laughs> I went away with the hand-drawn look for season two's disc art. So there's 15 episodes in season two. Again, really good. Then season three. I think we can see where we're going with this, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh yeah, let me see what season two's bonus features on it. Uh, can't say one of them. Uh, the cast, mini sods, Trouble in Woodcrest, audio commentaries, introductory introduction to 
the Uncle Ruckus reality show, <laughs> introduction to the Hunger Strike, and beyond behind the Boondocks. So, yes, disc two. This one's also 15 episodes. Play go figure. <laughs> Disc three. Let's see here. Every episode hosted by Cedric Yarbrough and Gary Anthony Williams for audio commentaries. Slink on the street. Who is your favorite character? Animatic to screen comparisons and Song Yoon Kim sketch photo gallery. Last one. This one is the season that kind of many people kind of felt like just fell off. It has um, only 10 episodes. It features are Boondocks Beats and a Writer's Perspective. As you can see, these um, this kind of mirrors that. As you can see, it's fairly different the way they built it, but this still look about the same. Let me see here. I actually didn't find this one all that bad. I'm just looking to see if this one has. Uh, <laughs> he dates a Kardashian. But, you know, yeah, actually, yeah, this one. And it does have my favorite episode on it, which is I Dream of Siri. I don't know what it is about that episode, but it just is, uh, to me, it's the most hilarious of all of them. If you haven't seen The Boondocks... Yeah. <laughs> So now, on the kind of opposite end of the political spectrum, let's talk about let's talk about some bullshit. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not monetizable. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of landmines in this particular episode. <laughs> this is season one. Penn and Teller they run this program and essentially. They go to each of these items and they prove why it's bullshit, why it's not right. So on this one, you get a couple of things here. You get naked promo, bonus episode, the ghost segment, James Randi interview with Penn & Teller, deleted scenes, outtakes, behind the scenes, wraparounds, and Penn & Teller bios. So this is first episode and there are some this one is a genuinely fun series it is one series that I really enjoy watching that's one for the libertarian in you I wouldn't necessarily say conservative so to speak but I think this can appeal to all people there's it's a, lot, a lot like South Park there's like one or two episodes I think for anybody that they'll look at and they'll go like for me I think a, a lot of it's the uh, environmental stuff and the global warming one uh, they were ones that I'm like eh. but uh, otherwise though it really is a good show it's very entertaining it is very funny they Penn and Teller have an amazing chemistry together. And uh, trust me, if it was not a good show, I probably would have been turned off by it and not followed it anymore. Which, obviously, I did continue to follow it with the second season, as you can see. The first season has uh, a lot of episodes. <laughs> it has 13 episodes. This one... has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen episodes but they don't number also on it uh let's see here i do not see any special features but they might be on the discs they kind of made these 
I don't necessarily like how they package this because it's very different from all the rest. Just like the first ones, like, I don't, man. The others are kind of thin packy too, but not like that. This is weird. You know. I guess there's no real special features, or if there are some, they don't show them. This was a Showtime show, by the way. Showtime had some fun shows. I mean, shoot, Dexter, for instance, Ray Donovan, good shows. So this is season three. As you can see, they switched to thin pack design now. And they actually hold to the thin pack for the rest of the series. This one also has, I think it's also 13. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yep, 13. <laughs> So, we'll start with disc one this time. As you can see, I got a little wrap around there. Any special features? Don't look like it. Eh. Actually, it's water damage there. You know, it kind of the way they make it look is. <laughs> there, but I got this used for a decent price. They're just fun shows. Yeah, this is one where you can just pick out an episode. You don't really have to watch it in order or anything like that. I remember watching some of these when it was airing. It was kind of cool. Of course, there's the fourth one. You know what, though? I'd like to see uh, James Rolfe's short mini episodes on like a one DVD set because he does a series like this in the title, too. Any special features? No. How many episodes? Ten. Wait, there are bonus features. Photo gallery. <laughs> so. It's all right. I didn't buy it for the special features, I bought it for the show. The controversial nature of the show. You get a show like this where there is controversy. Maybe not as much South Park because South Park is so widely popular that it's, you know, they can be as controversial as it wants. But something like this, you never know when they'll just take it off the air. So the last season, the f actually no, it's not the last season. Yeah. Okay, so never mind about the packaging scheme, it changes up again. So there's season five. And that one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten episodes. With no special features again. And no real discard either. Let's see. Uh, nary a discard to be found. Season six. They're just like, nah, we ain't gonna go over a thin pack anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten more episodes. <laughs> Still calling it after six seasons. <laughs> Again, no discard. All the episodes are kind of detailed in the wraparound, though. Season seven. Again, I believe ten episodes. Oh, wait, I think it's nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, just nine episodes this time. It's like going downhill, I tell you. Still episode summaries on the back here. Let me see, I'll take one out as you can see. And 
And the final season, season eight. The final season has ten episodes. They kind of gain one back. And the first two episodes uh, of their new series were also included. So kind of give you a teaser. And they like to do that. See, Dexter was running at the time that they were ending. So you got to have some that they did that. I mean, I remember getting Dexter as a bonus for another series that I was watching. I got the first episode of Dexter and that hooked me on it. So it is possible. But these can still be gotten pretty cheaply. And, you know, you get a season of it, you take a look at it, and if you're not like me and feel like you have to have all the seasons of a series, you know, look around. Take a look and see what the episodes are they're covering. If you got some stuff that you feel like is fun to make fun of or poke fun at, that's the season you want. Alright, so the next one is one I feel is gravely underappreciated, which was The Cape. This is a series about an individual who died and decided to hit the streets as a vigilante, learning magic tricks, essentially. Becoming a, a traveling magician with sleight of hand and martial arts uh, ability. And he is based in a circus. This, sadly, only got one season. And that's a, that is a sad thing, because I thought it was pretty good as a series. It's not very much on the disc art, but, you know. Let's see. But still, it was pretty decent. I want to say it's like 12 or 13 episodes, but I can't remember 100%. <laughs> and it doesn't say on here. But no special features. And it's really cheap. You find this, it's usually cheap. And it's worth checking out. If you like those kind of Batman-y type things, or you like some of the CW stuff, it's an enjoyable series to watch. Now, speaking of one that ended way too soon, and unfortunately damage on it, it's uh, the HBO series Carnival. I mean, you can see this got some damage here, but it's a very cool-looking box set. I got it very cheap. I got it for 10 bucks, which was very much worth it. This is about a traveling... Well, traveling carnival. And a lot of other things going. Look at that. I need to rewatch the series. Unfortunately, it only went two seasons. On the bonuses here, we've got behind the scenes featurette detailing the set and costumes, three audio commentaries. But it just. Unfortunately, this particular series. It just wasn't to be, and then they got to here, and they kind of jumped the shark a little bit. I really think that they were leading up to what happened here, but they knew that they were ending, so they just kind of went with what they could. As they fold up again. Oh, my goodness. So what we have here is audio commentaries, museum and television, uh, and radio panel, creating the scene, a little featurette, magic and myth, the meaning of the carnival. Again, fun show. If you have a chance, it is a fun one to watch. It's only two seasons. Oh, I'm trying to think how many episodes were there? Twelve, an hour long each, but you know. If you're an hour-long series, I don't like how they do it with stuff like Arrow, where it's like full 20-something episodes. I think if you're hour-long, you really should just be like 12 episodes and, and done. Or do it the British way and do like 5 to 10 per series. It's just a lot, to, a lot to swallow. The final one is a favorite of mine, and we covered this somewhat earlier, which was Clerks the Animated Series. This was a fun TV series and it had clerks really didn't 
go very far on TV. Only two episodes actually saw airtime. And uh, the other four were never aired, except for here. <laughs> so we had these, and they have these fun introductions they do for from Jay and Silent Bob for each episode. Animatics, uh, character development featurette. The Clerk Style featurette, Super Bowl TV spot, film festival trailer, and uh, that's about it for that. But it is really good. I, I'm hearing the theme music in there. Not very good disc art, but that little thing there. It's kind of funny. There we go. I love Kevin Smith's stuff and. I did not like the Blunt Man and Chronic cartoon that they did, but this, this was great. This is a hidden gem. If you can find it, you should check this out. So that's about it for our TV stroll. I hope you've enjoyed this. Click that like button and subscribe if you want more. Of course, do us the biggest of all and share. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye.